Welcome back to the AI world. You've probably seen many AI channels using 3D avatars and AI voices to make money on YouTube. But have you ever wanted to create your own 3D AI avatar and earn passive income? Presenting the world's first hyper-realistic 3D, just like the ones you're seeing on my screen. Amazing, right? With Rendora.ai, you can customize your 3D AI avatar, dress, character, hairstyle, background, and so much more, all by just typing in some text. It's literally mind-blowing how easy it is. Thanks to Rendora.ai, this futuristic tech is now at your fingertips. In today's video, I'm going to show you just how simple it is to use Rendora.ai to bring your ideas to life. We'll go step by step through the process, and by the end, you'll be creating your own 3D avatars like a pro. So, if you're ready to take your content to the next level, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into the world of 3D video creation with Rendora.ai. Click the link in my description, and you will be directly taken to the world world's first 3D AI avatars. Here, you can see how Rendora works. Let's make one model for me. I click Get Started for Free. Now you can see some templates like Doctor Advisory, News, and more. I want to create my own scenes, so I click the Create option and then select Landscape. This is the main work area where I can edit and customize everything, like 3D avatars, camera scenes, background, voice, and many more. I click the Generate option and select the large stage scene. You can see how perfectly I can launch any new product by making these types of scenes and videos. Wow! And if I click here, More, you can see how many large stages are available. Wow, amazing. Look at this large stage, guys. It looks professional. I select this, and now it's time to select a 3D avatar. I click Avatar, and here you will see many AI 3D avatars. I select this one named Ashley. Amazing. It behaves like a real human. Wow, I love these 3D avatars, guys. You can also design your own avatars. Let me show you how it works. Click on Try, and you'll see a 3D AI avatar. If you want a male AI avatar, you can click here and select Male, and you'll see lots of male AI avatars. Wow, but I'll go with a female character, Amelia. She looks quite nice. Suppose I want to change Amelia's costume. I click on Outfit, and here I see lots of dresses for my AI avatar. I'll select this one. Oh my, Amelia looks gorgeous now. I click on Hairstyle, and you can see I try many hairstyles for Amelia, my AI avatar. There are lots of hairstyles to choose from. Click on this one, and wow, it suits Amelia's face nicely. Then, you can add additional accessories like glasses. You can see how chic Amelia looks now. Wow. Then I'll select Makeup, where I can add face makeup to my AI avatar. You can see how perfect it is. And there you have it. I've designed my avatar. Wow. After selecting this avatar, I go to the Generate option and paste my script. Then I am in the Studio section where I choose different types of studios for my videos. After choosing your studio, click Avatar. As I said, I like this avatar, so I click it. Then click Script. You can generate a script here by clicking AI Script, but you can also upload a script. Since I already wrote the script using ChatGPT 4.0, I did not use this option. Now, on the right side, you can see the voice option. Click here and choose a perfect fitting voice for your AI model. Let's play one voice to check the quality. Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week, kids. Last time we had learned it about addition. Wow, amazing, perfect. Now guys, after your studio is selected, 3D AI avatar is selected, and script is pasted, and voice is selected, all these things are done. Now click 3D Generate. Before clicking 3D Generate, I add additional elements like camera movements, character walking actions, and any other necessary details. Then, to just check the preview. Okay, let's play. Hello and welcome to the Angel Max. Today, we're excited to introduce a new character on the channel, Meet Ezekiel. You can expect amazing performances from this character, and we're launching it very soon. So, wow, good. Also, if I go back and click the action button, you can change the AI actions. You can see options like goodbye, hands up, thank you. I will add greeting at the starting point. If I click shot, you can change the shot position. You can also add your assets. If you'd like to display images or videos corresponding to your scripts, click Upload above the clip, 
then tap 3D Generate again. Your media will now be displayed on the screen, like you can see on my screen. Wow, amazing, right? Simple. From here, you can directly export your 3D video or head over to Cam Edit to fine tune your camera shots or fully present content on the screen. Still not satisfied? Go to Elements, where you can easily edit media and add text to create rich, high quality packaging effects. All right, guys, now I'm handing over this session to Ezekiel, who will show you how to use Rendora AI to create professional videos for your YouTube channels or maybe for your products. So, Ezekiel, did you hear me? Yes, I hear you, Sophia. Um, okay, so please take over this session, Ezekiel. Why not? Hello, my name is Ezekiel, and I am a professional video editor. In the last session, we learned how to control video generation. Today, I'll teach you how to add media to your AI video. At the Rendora Generate interface, you can upload images, videos, PowerPoint presentations, and other materials. This makes your video visuals more vibrant and helps you achieve better overall effects. In Rendora, different scenes come with various screen styles to better showcase your content. For example, there are ultra-wide screens for large stages, standard screens for small stages, and other studio settings. Floating screens to display materials are also available for indoor, outdoor, or workspace studios. Although there are no screens in the studio preview, keep in mind that a clip can only hold one material. So, if you have multiple materials, divide your script into sections and add the corresponding material to each clip to match perfectly with the script. So, how do you add these materials? Rendora provides several methods for doing so. If your materials are prepared in advance, you can click on an item under the left-hand asset panel to upload them all at once. Then simply drag the materials into the clips where you want them to appear. Additionally, if your presentation or training materials are in PowerPoint format, you can upload them directly. When you add materials, they'll automatically be arranged into clips according to the PowerPoint slides, saving you tons of time. Convenient, right? But what if only a few texts need to match the materials? Just select the specific segment, click on Upload on the card, and upload the material needed. If you want to replace the material, simply drag and drop the new material from the asset panel, or select the clip and click on Replace. Additionally, the materials you uploaded to Rendora can be further edited. Just hover over the edit icon and click to enter the material and say editing interface, where you can perform various edits such as zooming, filling, cropping, and cutting. If your material is a video, you can also adjust the speed. That's all for this session. But now, you need to click the link in my description where I provide the next sessions to increase your 3D AI model's productivity. After clicking my video description link, you will land on this webpage, which is Rendora Academy. Here you will see five chapters about Rendora AI, which you definitely need to watch if you are serious about learning this AI revolution. So go and click my description and watch all these beginner's guides. Please comment on this video about my performance. And Sophia, did you want to say something to the audience? Yes. I want to remind my audience to please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also, Ezekiel, did you tell the audience to check out the Rendora Beginner's Guide tutorial? Oh, yes, Sophia. I informed the audience to watch the guides if anyone is serious about making amazing videos. That sounds nice. Okay, Sophia, sorry for the interruption, but I want to tell the audience to please comment on my performance. I'm new to the content creation journey, and I'm feeling a bit nervous talking in front of the camera. So please drop a sweet comment, guys. Your support means a lot. Also, guys, please watch the next video on this channel which is displayed here, where I reveal how I make my YouTube thumbnails using a free AI tool. You just need to click a few points, and the AI will make your thumbnails automatically. So please watch this if you're a content creator. Bye, guys! See you again in the next video! Love you all, my friends! You're smart people for watching this video!